How's the trip? All right. Good. Everything okay with you? Quiet. Awfully quiet. I hate vacation, Harry. Did you ever notice how many people die on vacation? You read about it in the papers all the time. That I was in the sun and children chose from boredom. Well, let's go back to work. Excuse me. I don't. 
It's a hell of a lot easier than the way I've been doing it. It's your fault. My fault? How is it my fault? I didn't tell you to leave them there. Why don't you take care of your own thing? Take care of my own thing? You stole my watch, you big idiot. Keep it down. Keep it down. You'll get busted. Oh, my God. I haven't done anything except have everything stolen. guy I met up at the workhouse in Omaha. I was in on a bag, but he was a real pro. Oh, I can tell. Some pro. Well, well, I'm just starting. It takes a lot of practice. You know, if I were you, I'd consider taking one of those aptitude tests. What are you going to do when you get to Chicago? I'm not. How can I? My ticket, my money, everything is in that bag. I'll tell you what. I've got two hundred dollars. You can have it. All of it. Are you serious? You are serious. You just stole my watch, and now you're going to give me two hundred dollars. Yeah. What do you want for it? Nothing. Nothing. No strings. Nothing. Nothing. No strings. Cross my heart. What's the on? Yeah. A little weird. <laughs> Hey, Casey. Harry. Right. This is Francie. Oh, Francie. Hello. Harry, right, I knew you'd had a long trip. Uh, I thought perhaps if you know, oh, well, uh, yeah. Very pretty girl, Casey. Mm.
it. You know, you really are a nice guy. Thanks, babes. You something else yourself? Jeez. I mean, when you don't say dumb things like that. I'm not trying to con you. I said I liked you, didn't I? I'm not interested in money anyway. You could drive a guy nuts. Yes, no, yes, no. Well, I'll tell you one thing for sure. Putting you on that goddamn train to Chicago with 200 bucks, just like I said. The hell you are. The hell I'm not. Look, you don't have to take care of me. You're not responsible for me. I'm responsible for you until I get you on that train to Chicago. After that, you're on your own. Just because you stole my watch doesn't give you the right to tell me what to do. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have gotten near you in that train station. You're damn right, you should. Right. And don't bring up that business about your suitcase and the purse. It's not my fault. I didn't tell you to leave them there. Well, if it's not your fault, I'd like to know whose fault it is. Yours. The hell it is. The hell it isn't. That whistle stretch. Okay, okay. I got some great stuff for you. God, hot. Okay, what you got? Cheese. What's that mean? Cheese, the stuff that he brings me. Means your boyfriend's a stiff lady. Knock that off, man. Hey, look at this. Two dollars. Two dollars for my watch? The class was broken. I know. Listen. Now, here are the goods. Bring me stuff like this, man. Gee. Thirty dollars. A hundred. Forty. Hey, man, we gotta live. I'll give you forty-five dollars and a good line on something. Kind of a line. I'll connect you up so you don't have to peddle crap. Forty-five dollars. Come on, it's hot. Okay. You know a place called the Brasserie Pittsburgh in Pioneer Square? No. Let me find it. There's a guy there named Casey. Now he is recruiting a Class A wire mob. What's that? Pickpockets. Come on, get out of here. Well, yeah, I got no time for this charity work. Give me a break. Hey, hold it. Watch it. Broken class. Two bucks, you said.
Grocery Pittsburgh, 602 First Avenue. That's not far from here, I think. Man, if I could get in, get connected. Me, I can. What are you so hyped up about? Huh? A wire mob works together, a real team. Not like that crap around back at the train station. You got people that stall for you. The can goes in, makes the head hands off. <laughs> it's fantastic bread. Sandy Coletto. I understand you're looking for a... Uh... Sit down, please. Tell me, uh, who do you know around here? Better still, who knows you? Nobody, I guess. I've been working in the Omaha area and through there. You have a police record, no doubt. No? No. Yes. What for? It was nothing. I stole the car years ago in Ohio. Nobody's looking for him. I mean, nobody cares if he's alive or dead. He's not here because he's so smart or cool or experienced. He's here because we're flat on our ass. Well, you got to move around a lot. You work with a first-class cannon. But you've got to do as you're told. Are you still interested? Sure. Sure, let me make a call. You still think I'm weird? No. I think I'm weird. <laughs> This is Ray, and uh, this is Sandy. Come in. I guess I kind of blew it in, in the elevator there, but I'm, I'm not used to work. It's too big. It's clumsy. They're both green, Harry. I thought uh, maybe the girl. Yeah, the girl, maybe. Maybe? What maybe? Stall. Have you got the gift and uh, a little work for my out of it? Stall. Stalls? I mean, all you're looking for is stalls? What did you make me go for his poke for? I want to see if he had any guts. Yeah, man, but I've had experience in the bathroom. You need experience. I want to stall. What about you? You with it? 
Yeah, sure, she's been with me for... No, no, I'm not a thief, and I haven't had any experience. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. What's a stall? You learn to bump into people gracefully, setting them up for the cannon. That's Harry. I bump into people? For a living? You want it? Ray and I are together. the hell out of me. I don't allow drugs. No pot, pills, nothing. You can drink a little bit. No whoring, no strong arm, no gambling, except where I know the game or where it's legal. You want us to join a church? I have rules. Lots of rules. We travel first class. Best rooms, best clothes, best food. Everything strictly the best. Casey handles the take. Turn everything over to him, no exceptions. Money, ID, credit cards, paper, all of it. He'll fence the whole package off. Hey, you can buy a whole lot in just one day with one credit card, you know. Yes. The credit card, they have your face and your handwriting. Mm. Right. It shares 20% of the take. Each? Together. I pay all the expenses, including fall money, lawyers, bail, all the fees. But if you fall, that's it. Understood? Stand up, please. That's pretty good. If you know how to use it. I know it's pretty good, so what? You better realize what business you're in, my dear. What business does he think I'm in? Ah, oh, what's that for? Well, buy yourself a dress. Something short. Mm. High heels. You get yourself a coat and tie. Cut some of that hair off. Why? It's not really that long. It is for a thief. Okay? All right, I'll see you here tomorrow noon. Bloody hell. Come on. <laughs> Don't do it, Harry. I'll get someone else. No, no, no. They might work out. Feeling that one's trouble. Yeah, I can't give it a I meant her. Insider. Rat kicks, right, left. Patch kicks, left, right. Bridge kicks. The pit. This is where most of our takes will be made. That's where all our big money is. I don't care how good you are. Any fool might feel his boat go. Just the law of gravity. Unless his attention someplace else. But he's feeling something else, looking someplace else, thinking about something else. That's your job. Amateurs like you are taking the same risk for a $2 poke as they are for 200 So we cut down on those percentages. That's my job. I steer. I locate Mr. Bates. Make sure that he's got something worth taking. I know where he puts it. You know, Harry knows. The rest is easy. I'm not breaking into a safe. 
I'm tapping a warm, breathing human being who can stick his finger in my eye and become it. Okay? Okay, now we've got the law of gravity to worry about. And then there's Mr. Law. You know who he is. And now we come to Harry's Law. That's the most important. And Harry's Law is that Harry doesn't hold. Harry never holds. He doesn't keep the boat. Not for more time than it takes to pass it off. Not for more than 10 seconds. You understand? That's why I've never taken a fall. And that's the way I'm going to keep it. So remember, the first law is that Harry does not hold. Okay? Fine, well, let's go to work. Stand up, Ray. I'm going to round the mark. The cannon. <laughs> Get him. Just an egg. Another egg. Never mind. How do you know? Why, boy, it's what I do. This isn't going to work. I still think it's a goddamn game, don't you? Let's fix that, shall we?
Mr. John. What's that? What the hell do you think it is? You're standing a mile away, sound asleep on his feet. You mean you hit that mark today? Are you retarded or something? I told you the law, right? Harry never holds, not for a minute, not for 30 seconds. Now you started out breaking one rule that does not bend. Harry, he didn't know you'd gotten it. He just didn't know. What do you think I was doing out there selling pencils? Harry, you hardly touched the guy. It was too fast. He had no idea. There must be a thousand bucks in there. Yeah, that's right, and I carried it home all the way in my pocket. Harry, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were that good. Your share. Harry never holds. <laughs> School's out. We could still cancel our reservation on the Titanic. I knew he'd screw up. I had no idea he'd leave me holding. Harry, why not pay him off? Go with it. Maybe at my age, I've forgotten. But is it worth it? Yes. He wants me to uh, take care of you two. So that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. He wants you both to get some better clothes. So uh, I'll take you shopping, and uh, Harry will go with you. It's OK. Fashion. What about her? Doesn't she look terrific? Uh -huh. I thank you kindly. Lovely. Did you tell me what happened today? No. no. Oh, come on. Why haven't you? Well, you two had an adventure yourself. Mm -hmm. What happened, Ray? Uh, well, all I can tell you is that I'm not going shopping with Casey again. <laughs> it's a good thing Casey was there. The salesman was all eyes for him. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter, uh, did, did you want another round? Or sure, another round. Whatever you say, you're the boss. After hours, I know. Oh, and you never told me that he could smile. Uh, the truth is, he can't. Really, he's just a very large monkey, and it just looks like he's smiling. Actually, when they do that, they're terrifying. Well, I think in that case, we'd best beat him. I think that's a good idea. But I get Casey sense pretty soon here. He's going to fall off the chair. <laughs> you know, you can't drink too much after a certain age. Babe, I want to tell you something. The best friend I ever had. I mean, the best friend. And that's important in this racket. Oh, boy, I want to tell you, we're going to be together a lot, you know. And that's not easy. Now, you know, I've been traveling all over the place together. And I just hope that a year from now, that we're all just as friendly as we are here tonight. That? Now, break down and cry about it, Ann Casey. I will if I want to, you bloody ape. <laughs> 
truth is, he's just a jolly good meal ticket, that's all. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, and we tail him for, uh, I guess it was a couple of hours. Oh, come on, 40 minutes. Oh, I was... <laughs> 40 minutes. Well, we find his frame. We get him framed in the bottle. Five grand. Yeah. All coming. <laughs> oh, the whole mess. Hey, Sandy, what do you want to have a little bit? Talk to him. I want to talk with him. Yeah, okay. Good night, good night, Casey. Good See you tomorrow. Good night, Casey. You don't have to, you know. I don't have to what? I'm gonna have a nightcap with me. I know. It's after hours. Sorry to interrupt. You want it in front of her? None of these gentlemen are detectives. We're just about to have a nightcap. Join us? I'm working. I'll have a little brandy. Been in town long? No, not long. Well, we heard three weeks, maybe four. Oh, well, yeah, I like it here. It doesn't matter. Time to go. If I had the kind of life you've got, Harry, you chance to move around, see the country. I'd do it. What's going on here? I, mean, I haven't made any noise. I've paid my dues. Three or four weeks is long enough, Harry. People begin to think you live here. That's right. Come on up to B.C. where folks get all the money. Yeah, okay, I'll think about it. I like you, Harry. Don't push back. She 21? 23. And I've got ID. Just another little thing for you to worry about, Harry? Does this happen often? Once in a while. I guess you better go downstairs and start packing. We'll be first thing in the morning. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah. Well, you wouldn't have scored anyway. Good night. Good night. Me. You didn't have to go up there last night. I told you nothing happened. Now, if you don't believe that, there's nothing more I can say about it. I know nothing happened. You didn't have to go, that's all I'm saying. You didn't have to let me go. So shut up about it. I won't tell you what to do. That's right, you don't. I'll do whatever I want. But even if I do, you don't have to put up with it. If you ask me, Harry, it's the credit card that's down the economy. As soon as we get rid of those little plastic bastards, the whole thing will pick up. Listen, Casey, the credit card's not going to go away. No, if anything, money will disappear. Well, I'll be a number on a giant computer. Do away with money? That's ridiculous. It'll happen. <laughs> Communistic. It's economic. It's criminal.
Nice to have you back, Mr. Durbin. Thank you. You uh, want to go, Mr. Durbin? Yes. Before. Oh, come on. Well, not often. You're tired, that's all. My nerves are shot, too. Yeah, I guess that's it. Reminds me when I was a kid in high school. Our basketball coach used to get us in the locker room. He'd tell us never to have sex before a game. He said it weakened you. In high school? That's dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he did it. He was a pro. Just like Harry. Harry's a bastard. Yeah. But he's a pro. He's a pro bastard. When you were in high school, big basketball star, all the little Indiana cheerleaders hot for you. <laughs> you jealous? Green with it. And listen, if we make a, a couple of really big hits and get a stake together, maybe we ought to get married. Yeah, sure. And have six kids and you can go out and steal every day and I'll have dinner ready when you come home. <laughs> I'll make it someday.
slightly interested to know just uh, what we took in today. Yes, indeed. $1,420. $1,420. When it's all in small folks like it was, that's definitely a nobby day. Congratulations, children, to us as a team. And did you notice that Ray didn't make a single mistake all day? I did. I did. You know, he reminded me of the first time I saw the great Iranian dip, uh, Angel, I think it was. It was in Paris before the war. Uh, which war was that, Casey? The Boer War, you silly ass. <laughs> Ray's hands are slightly larger. Angel, I think it was only, uh, what, uh, four feet eleven. Nevertheless, their techniques, uh, Remarkably similar. Yeah, but he was a cannon. I'm still only a saw. Harry, my boy. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, Show us regal water back, please. That'd be good. 1420. And the biggest poke was 100 and a half. So we took a hell of a lot of leather in an eight hour day. 1400? I think that's pretty damn good. Fair. He always say nothing, just know he has a headache. Feel like going to a movie? No. It's depressing in the morning. We could make love. We already did. Well, you know, there have been occasions in the history of the world when it's been done more than once in 24 hours. Look, let's just try and get through the day, all right? Can I make an appointment for tomorrow? I don't feel like having sex. You know me. What? You don't have sex with me. You know me. It's right there in what you're reading. I'll go out and ask Harry if it's okay if I wander around and check things out. You'd ask Harry if he wanted to go to the John. I guess I'm just beginning to hate hotels. And Harry's down with another one of those migraines. Yeah. How about it? Your little uh, tea or a sandwich? No, no, thanks. Huh? Actually, I was thinking about going out and working on my own. Oh, come on. Don't make an utter ass out of yourself. Uh, you were going to say again. I did okay before I met him, you know. Look, you've come a long way, my boy. 
But Harry would never stand for it. Oh, screw Harry. I've got to learn how someday. He's not going to keep me around forever. I'm here because she's here, and you know it. Anyway, I don't plan on being anybody's kiss-ass stall for very much longer. I, I didn't mean that. I mean, with you, it's different, Casey. You're his friend. I know precisely what you mean. If it's the milk of human kindness you're looking for, my boy, Harry ain't the cow. You know as much about this racket as he does. How come you work for him? I don't work for him. We're partners. My hands aren't uh, what they used to be. How would you like to work behind a duke like that, huh? I keep up my end, and Harry knows it. You could uh, teach me how to make it as a cannon. Yeah, I could, but I won't. Harry would go up the wall. Well, forget Harry. Uh, you could teach me how to do it right. I won't get that chance again. No one will. You're right there. God knows there aren't many left who really know this profession. That's what I mean, Casey. You're the only one who can teach me how to do it right. It doesn't change a jot. I like that part of it. It's a stable occupation in an unstable world. You see, it's all character, human nature. I can uh, spot a good mark just uh, by his face, but as you probably don't believe in human nature, I haven't noticed that it worked. My boy, you can't teach what I know. Not how. But I'll tell you this much. If you want to learn a man's character, after his face, look at his pockets. I can tell a man's state of health just by his kicks. Now, there's the science. Not many have studied. Body oils. A fat man's pockets are always slicker. And it's not just the poor bugger who's got the dirty one. <laughs> I stuck my hands into some pretty fancy kicks in my time and pulled them out. Wow. Shocking. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in somebody's pocket. You've got a lot to learn, my boy, if you want to work the right class of people. You've got to associate with the right sort of mob. And you can't do that unless you're willing to learn the game. I'm willing as all hell. Oh, sure. Not enough. There's no sense of craft anymore today. Harry apprenticed for years. He was turned out by John Orlando, one of the finest. John started in the old country. He even worked the boat that brought him here, so they say. Nowadays, the youngsters haven't got it. Their patience, no discipline. They don't want to spend the time to learn. So they rip and they run and they hit some poor old lady over the head and grab her purse. That really pisses me off. Spoils it to the rest, because it shouldn't be allowed. One has got to have good training. There are rules. One has got to have discipline. Without it, you fall into all sorts of bad habits. But this is, this is different, you understand. My age, it's, uh, you know, it's good for you. Good for the digestion, <laughs> good for the blood pressure. How come Harry never gets on you about that? Ah. <laughs> My little weakness is cocaine. Harry's is me. Right again. Hey, isn't this where Black Bart came from? Yes. <laughs> it's funny. We probably steal more than he ever did, but nobody ever heard of us. Good Lord, I hope not.
Off, I suppose. No, he couldn't do that glass. Maybe he made a good investment. I think he's holding on to this. Oh, I'm sure he'd never do that. No, not a chance. Pictures of marks and personal affection skimmed from the popes, right? Yeah. I like to study them. I like to know something about the people I steal from. Stupid. Did it ever occur to you that these are all evidence? It occurred to me, yeah. It is my fault. No, you stay out of this. How long have you been holding out, Ray? I've never held out. You're wearing fourteen hundred dollars worth of watch on that wrist. How could a punk like you afford that if you haven't been holding out? Huh? It was with my own money. I worked on my own time. Did you? Hmm. Well, let me tell you something. You don't have any of your own time. You work for me, you follow the rules, you turn every time you get that crap about the rules again. You let Casey walk around with coke. Now, now, that's a federal bust. How does that fit into your rules? Okay. If you don't want to play the game my way, you don't have to play. Go down and see Casey. He'll pay you what you owe. All right, I will. Sandy will come with me. Wait a minute. Maybe you better ask the lady. Well, maybe somebody better ask me something. What does that mean? Why should she want to go back on the streets with a loser like you? You shut your mouth. They don't. Swing on me, I'll kill you. All right. Stick with the old guys. Ray. Ray. Does that make you feel big, all that? It's bound to happen. He doesn't have it. I don't mean that. I mean using me against him. Oh, you did that. What do you mean? You've been having it both ways. You'd have turned me off any time you wanted. Okay. I'm gonna go get him. Try to make him come back, and if he doesn't, I'm going with him. the row all the way down the hall. Yeah. Did he tell you I've uh, been teaching him? No, he didn't have to. Oh, no. still he didn't. I think uh, he's got a lot more to him than you realize, Harry. 
though. He's young. Yeah. They're both young. And I like them both. Yeah, I know you do. Look at this. Please come back. I'm afraid.
I don't know how it happened. The Coke was suede. It must have got hung up in his pocket, but he should have checked it. I don't want to talk about it. Look, Casey was stoned out of his head. He should have been paying attention. You're always making mistakes, Ray. Then why did you bring me back? I wish to God now I hadn't. Okay. That's it. Where are you going? None of your goddamn business. I'm not coming looking for you again. Don't bother. I'll be back. Take me a few days to raise it. Yeah, and don't try the diminished capacity plea. It uh, won't work. It'll only embarrass him anyway. Yeah. yeah. I know there's very little you can do, but whatever he wants, he gets, right? Yeah, okay, well, I'll, I'll call you when I've got the money. A couple of days. Okay, Jerry, thanks. Bye-bye. You'll want to look as usual. Elegant self in court, I imagine. Can you get him off? They found some coke on him. Oh, found to happen sooner or later, I guess. A very expensive legal fee. You care a lot more than that. Now, let's see. Only family we had. We traveled around a lot together. You just gonna go away and leave me? Yeah, that's it. Do you want a cigarette? What? A cigarette. Yeah. What do you think will happen now? Oh, well, I guess we'll go to Phoenix or Denver. No place like that. What about New York? You ever work in New York? Not too many amateurs there. Besides, like we get money. Where were you born? Where did you grow up? You know, I figure you're a black sheep of a very rich man. <laughs> well, your manners and your style and everything. Huh. Dirt poor. Poor white trash. Learn it all. Really? 
Sandy. Sandy. Sandy tells me you're short on fall money for Casey. Yeah, that's right. What do you say? I'll work with you one more time, then I'm finished. Okay, right. Just about Casey. Blame yourself for that. It's all my fault. What a drive. Thank you. The score should be big here, but so are the risks. I'll be careful. She does all the stalling, Ray. I steer, make the hit, and pass off to you. Right. You skin the poke, count up after each hit. I want to work fast and get out of here as soon as we have enough. Control like you have with a rock concert, we'll be working without uniform personnel to help today. This sort of a horse crowd is usually no trouble. But there is a chance we may get a wire mob working the arena. Telex from Central PD says a steerer for Harry Durbin got busted at the Capitol yesterday. So you better keep your eyes open for this man. Any record? No arrests. Who's telling for him? We don't know. Watch for Durbin's handoff and go for the stall. Why don't we try to nail him with the goods on him? Lots of luck. will be number 207, Taylor May from the Foxbury Farm of San Redondo with the rider, Mr. Richard Hilton. Mr. Hilton now approaching the very difficult triple combination. And performs it cleanly, ladies and gentlemen. Please clap your today. And the clean performance is for Taylor May and Mr. Richard Hilton. Excellent performance here, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a round opening up the three stakes here at the Gentlemen, 
set in the awards for the Open Jumper Grand Championship Sweepstakes here at the Intermountain Championship Board Show. It's my distinct pleasure and privilege to introduce to you the co-chairwoman of this year's Board Show from Salt Lake City. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. John C. Gilmore III for the Board Show Arena. Thank you. 